Hi, I'm Liz. Um, I work in the Rogerson Lab. In the Rogerson Lab we're really interested in the immune response towards the malaria parasite. Um, what we're specifically interested in right now is trying to identify what kind of antibody response would protect people from disease. The problem is some people get sick even though they've got lots of antibodies. So we think antibodies need to be able to do a really specific thing. Maybe they need to help um, monocytes, phagocytosis, parasite or something. So we want to kind of identify exactly what antibody responses are important. Um, when I'm not at work, I really like going down to the beach. I really love spending time there with my family. On the weekends, there's nothing better than just having like a relaxing few days there. So, uh, hi, uh, I'm Alex Barrow, and my lab works on uh, natural killer cells, in particular how they perceive uh, cancer cells or virus-infected cells uh, from normal healthy cells. And in my spare time, I'm a proud family man, uh, but I also enjoy uh, watching movies and also exploring um, you know, parts of Australia. Hi, I'm Andrew Brooks. My lab works on natural killer cells and in particular we're interested in how they impact viral infection and cancer. Thanks. Hi, I'm Lynette Beatty. I'm one of the postdocs in Bill Heath's lab where we focus on the immune response to malaria, particularly looking at the development development of immunity in the liver. So we're interested in a population of cells that can protect against malaria called CD8 resident memory cells. We're looking at ways to generate that. So the four projects that we have on offer in the lab will all focus on just different aspects of the best ways to develop CD8 resident memory cells in the liver. Hi, I'm Trish Campbell. I work in the epidemiology unit at the Doherty. And our team works on infectious disease epidemiology, having a look at how diseases spread in populations. And specifically, we're introduced, in, interested in diseases such as influenza, um, group A streptococcus, and hepatitis. So looking at how they spread in different populations and how different interventions um, might make a difference to the number of cases that we see in different populations. So we use mathematical models and statistical models to do that sort of work. And, and outside of the lab, I am addicted to video games. <laughs> um, so I spend a lot of my spare time doing that. Hi, my name's Amy. I'm a lab head at the University of Melbourne Department of Microbiology and Immunology, and we're really interested in understanding antibodies and how antibodies can be used as these powerful weapons to activate the innate immune cells to clear out um, a range of infectious diseases like HIV, malaria, uh, influenza and tuberculosis. Um, in my spare time, I'm a major foodie, love trying out new restaurants, um, and when I have a little bit of time, I like trying to make some own, my own recipes as well. Hi, my name is Mark Davies, and the Davies Lab used genome sequencing tools and bioinformatics to understand and unravel the complexities of bacterial pathogens and how they evolve and how they transmit within a global context. Our interest is primarily in disease endemic settings where infection is rife, and where we really want to try and develop ways where we can develop better diagnostics through to prevent these um, bacterial infections. Outside the lab, I get managed very well by my children and try and get to the beach whenever possible. Hello, my name is uh, John Fasakli. I'm a uh, group leader in the Peter Doherty Research Institute and also Dean of the Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences. My interest and the interest of my research group are on arboviruses, that is viruses that go um, from animals to humans and actually can go the other way sometimes as well and that are transmitted usually by um, arthropod vectors such as mosquitoes and ticks. Um, we're interested in the pathogenesis of these viruses, how they cause disease in mammals, that is animals and humans, and also how they're transmitted. And we have a team working on um, alpha viruses in particular. Alpha viruses include chikungunya virus and Ross River virus and uh, a number of experimental viruses like Synbis and Semliki forest virus. These are interesting to study in animal model systems and they cause arthralgia or they cause encephalitis and we're particularly interested in the pathogenesis of the encephalitis. So how do these viruses get into the brain? Um, what do they do when they get in the brain? Which cells do they infect? What kind of immune response do they switch on? What kind of innate immunity? What kind of adaptive immunity? How does the immunity get rid of the virus? How does the immunity damage the brain? Does the immunity actually get rid of the virus infection from the central nervous system? We think sometimes it doesn't. And from the point of view of how are these viruses transmitted, 
How do insects deal with virus infections? They actually don't have adaptive immunity like mammals. They have a very different immune system. And we're interested in how that immune system works. How do insects deal with infections? And um, how are the uh, viruses disseminated around the body of the insect? And how are they transmitted to the mammals? And perhaps how can we stop that process? Can we make genetically modified insects? Can we change the insect immune system in order to prevent the um, transmission of important diseases like dengue or chikungunya or Ross River virus. So we work in the Peter Doherty Research Institute on the seventh floor and uh, we have honours um, student projects, master's um, student projects and, uh, and a group of PhD students. Um, the two main areas as I said are um, the pathogenesis of encephalitis um, in mouse models and viruses in uh, mosquitoes, how are they transmitted and uh, how can we prevent their transmission. As a group leader in the Peter Doherty Institute, I spend a lot of my time doing research, but as Dean of the Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences, I also spend a lot of time uh, running the schools in the um, Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences. When I get some spare time, I like to go out um, hiking. My wife and I are um, next week going to walk the Lara Pinta uh, um, long distance walking pathway in Northern Territory and as you can probably tell from the accent I'm British and we're uh, two-thirds of the way around the 600 mile southwest coast path in the UK so next time I go back to the UK we'll do the, the last 200 miles of that. Um, uh, other than that, uh, my wife has a certificate in, uh, in um, wines, and she, uh, she, so she likes to do um, a lot of uh, wine tasting and visiting vineyards, so that's pretty good by me as well. Perfect. That sounds amazing. Um, hi, my name is Vicky Lawson. I'm a researcher here at the Peter Doherty Institute. My research in interests are in um, infectious diseases, and in particular transmissible neurodegeneration, so prion disease and Parkinson's disease. And our interest is particularly in the role of these proteins is misfold in these transmissible diseases, um, how they cause disease in the central nervous system and also the enteric nervous system and how they cause or how they can be transmitted um, between people and between the enteric nervous system and the central nervous system. In addition to that, we have some interest in cancer. So the projects you will see advertised for my group include both neurodegeneration and cancer um, style projects. The type of things or things that I do in my spare time is I have a couple of kids so I think watching soccer games and watching my other daughter row on the river are my other pastimes. Hi my name is Sharon Lewin, I'm director of the Doherty Institute. I also run a lab primarily looking at how and where HIV persists in the body and people on treatment and how we might be able to cure HIV. In addition, we work on hepatitis B virus and how HIV and hepatitis B virus interact. What do I, what do I like doing when I'm not working? Um, I like to keep fit, I run. Um, I like to travel, probably a little bit too much for work, but I always do something fun when I travel. And I also really like cooking and entertaining and of course eating. Well, um, my name is uh, Fabian Mackay. Um, I'm an immunologist. I have an interest in basic immunology, primarily of uh, B cells, the cells that make antibodies in the body. But we're also looking at uh, disease where B cells play an important role, which are autoimmune disease like lupus and also uh, leukemias of B cells such as chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And uh, recently our work also has extended to the role of uh, the microbiome in influencing our immune system in particular the biology of B cells in health and disease. Uh, so what do I like to do out of the lab apart from shopping? Um, yeah, I, I love reading about, um, I'm, I'm a fan of police stories and thrillers. So when I need to read something else than science, I like to have a good page turn, a good thriller or a good uh, crime story. My name's Laura McKay and my research group works on T-cell immunity to infections and cancer. Outside of the lab, I really like travelling, which certainly works with this job. Um, travel's a huge part of it. Uh, viruses are awesome, as I'm sure you know. Um, we work on two different families of viruses, flaviviruses, that include dengue virus, Zika virus and West Nile, and Khaleesi virus, which include norovirus, which gives you gastro and vomiting on cruise ships, schools and aged care homes. Interestingly, both these viruses infect macrophages, which are pretty key uh, cells in the immune system that sort of sense, signal and react 
to infection. And what we try to do is understand when these viruses infect those types of cells, what happens to them? Like how do they facilitate virus replication? But also how does that impact then on the function of those cells, particularly those immune function that they have? And then how does this sort of lead into the symptoms and the disease state that you have within the host? And informing this can then obviously lead to sort of treatment and prevention options. Um, so what do I do outside the lab? A rock climb, I guess, yeah. Hello, my, my name is Siddharth Mahanti. I'm an infectious disease physician and an investigator in the Department of Medicine. My work is related to malaria and the two areas that my research is uh, involved in right now is transmission blocking uh, immunity. That's the type of immunity that uh, we develop or we want to develop against transmission of the parasite into the mosquito. Uh, in the between the human and mosquito stage. And uh, a second area that I'm interested in is on uh, severe severity of malaria and what are the determinants of m severe malaria in children who get, in get the infection. So uh, besides the lab, um, I have a l number of different hobbies. Uh, what I like doing most outside the lab is to travel. And I like to do a lot of uh, international travel, and I've been to many places. And my second hobby is uh, uh, amateur astronomy. So I like stargazing and uh, space uh, research. Hi, my name's Theo Mantamediotis. Um, my lab is interested in uh, the biology of brain cancer. And um, one of the areas we're specifically interested in is um, how immunotherapies may help um, uh, improve the treatment of brain cancer are very difficult to treat cancer and we're looking at the immune um, cell profile of brain tumours that's a major part of our work and um, so my interests outside of the lab are playing guitar and volleyball so I've been playing for many years. Hello I'm Jim McCluskey I'm from the Peter Doty Institute uh, at the University of Melbourne my lab is an immunology lab it works on how the immune system recognizes uh, pathogens microbes uh, how it actually um, distinguishes them from the body uh, and in order not to do harm but to eliminate microbes and um, we've been particularly interested in a set of cells called mate cells mucosal associated invariant T cells they are quite abundant and we're working on what they do we've discovered that they can both protect against uh, germs and microbes but they can also harm the body when they overreact so they might even contribute to disease like inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, the lab is a great lab we have a mixture of very senior people uh, and PhD students and uh, support staff uh, we have a lot of fun in the lab we meet once a week to talk about progress uh, and we really like having new blood to stimulate new ideas uh, in, in the quest to understand how the immune system works. Hi, I'm Chris McDevitt. In my group we study infectious bacterial pathogens and we're particularly interested in how the chemistry of the host pathogen interface shapes infection outcomes. By understanding the mechanisms of how bacteria resist stress in a changing host environment, we can use this knowledge to develop and test novel antimicrobials to overcome drug resistance. In my spare time, I like to go bike riding with my kids. Habit. Hi, my name is Scott Mueller. I'm an immunologist in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology. And my research is focused on understanding how immune responses are initiated in response to virus infections and in response to tumours. And we're focused at looking at how T cell responses are initiated and the interactions between T cells and cells like dendritic cells and fibroblasts, and also how neural signals control immune responses. And we're using advanced technologies, including intravital microscopy and whole tissue imaging in order to define the intricacies, intricacies of the immune system. Well, I'm a, I'm a father, I have two young kids, and I, I spend a lot of time with my kids on the weekends. And I'm also an avid mountain biker. I like to, to get up in the mountains whenever I get a chance. Hi, my name's Hayley Newton. Um, I lead a research group on level six. We're really interested in intracellular bacterial pathogens that invade human cells and take them over from the inside, trying to figure out how they do that. Uh, outside of the lab, I've got an 18 month old at home, so I would like to get some sleep. Hi, I'm Damien Purcell. Uh, my lab works on human retroviruses and that's HIV and HTLV, which is human T cell leukemia virus. Uh, these are both important human infections causing a lot of disease, uh, particularly
particularly in Australia with uh, HTLV1 in remote indigenous communities. So my lab looks at how these viruses replicate, how they work, how we can make vaccines against these viruses. We study the antibodies that can prevent transmission from these viruses. And we also develop new drugs, uh, particularly drugs focused at preventing transmission for HTLV and uh, drugs that are aimed towards curing HIV. So uh, my hobby and the thing that I like doing when I'm not at work, which is uh, not much of the time unfortunately, is, is sailing. Um, so I have a sailboat and I like to get out on the water and, and uh, enjoy a nice day, calm day on the sea. Hi, my name's David Price. I'm a biostatistician working at the Doherty Institute. My role here is to provide um, advanced statistical support to all areas of infection and immunity research that goes on here in the Institute. So this includes uh, experimental work in the lab and in animals, up to human and epidemiological studies. Uh, and so I provide that advanced statistical methodology um, both to collect uh, information more efficiently and then also analyse those data to answer important um, infection or questions around infection and immunity. Uh, and for fun outside of work, I'm a little bit sports mad, so I love AFL and cricket. Well, hi, I'm Peter Revel. Um, I run a laboratory here that works on hepatitis B virus. We're particularly interested in the association of hepatitis B and liver cancer and how hep B causes liver cancer. In my spare time, I love skiing and probably my favourite place on earth is Mount Hotham. Hi, I'm uh, Nicholas Scott. I'm a researcher here in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology. And my work really focuses on understanding the role of sugars that are chemically attached to proteins and what they do. So I look at this in bacterial systems, where I look at the mechanisms that add sugars and look at what happens when we remove those sugars from proteins. Uh, so the main bacteria I work on is Burkholderia, and I'm really interested in why Burkholderia species have a conserved glycosylation system. Um, the main technologies and techniques I use to look at these bacteria is mass spectrometry and proteomics. Uh, so I use a mixture of molecular biology to make mutants and uh, assess the function of glycosylation and then uh, the readout is usually mass spectrometry. Um, in my spare time when I'm not working in the lab uh, I like good coffee, good food um, and uh, going for bike rides. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lucy Sullivan. I have a research fellow position at the Doherty uh, Institute and also at the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne where we're looking at lung transplant recipients and the immunology following transplantation and particularly how we can reduce rejection following transplantation but also how we control infection following transplantation. So a bit about me outside the lab, I love to visit the beach in the summer where I enjoy surfing and also love horse riding and I wish I could buy a horse. Hi, my name is Steve Tong, I'm an infectious diseases doctor, I work at the Royal Melbourne Hospital uh, and I also have uh, research areas and th they end up being two main place areas, one being golden staph infections and running clinical trials to improve treatments for those. Uh, and the second area is broadly Indigenous health and infections that affect Aboriginal people. And that really ranges across uh, group A strep and skin infections uh, and the epidemiology and genomics of that. Uh, and secondly, in that space, also antimicrobial resistance and the increase in antimicrobial resistance in Aboriginal communities. Something that I like doing is to go running uh, and it's great to be able to go on Monday lunch times and run around Princess Park, so I'll do that with a couple of mates each Monday. Hi, my name is Marie and I'm here to introduce to you the Bonn and Melbourne Research and Graduate School. This is a joint PhD program that we have here at the Doherty and what's special about this program is that our students can um, conduct their PhD and their research here at the Doherty for around two years and then they have an opportunity to go abroad to Germany and uh, to continue their research there for an additional one year and so that's really exciting. The program is growing. We have over 50 students currently enrolled and and we are hoping to recruit and open up more um, projects for students in 2020. So if you're interested in conducting a PhD partially abroad, then please come and speak to me at the open day and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks.